real quick. I got this train chiller right here. This train chiller right here. We're getting a we're getting a low refrigerant charge or loss of refrigerant charge. Let's go and diagnostic real quick. Lots of refrigerant charge. Lots of refrigerant charge on circuit number one. Right? See right here. So it happened several times. So here we are looking at the uh, at the circuit. Now we're going to look at circuit number one. Circuit number one. So suction line temperature is 60. 60 degrees, which is rather high. I got my thermometer on the pipe to confirm that. You can see I got my scale set up and my refrigerant and my hose. They already know where I'm going with this. All right. Okay. So uh, then we have our superheat. Superheat. That's 23 degrees. That's you know that's rather high. If we go and we have our approach. 17. If we go to circuit number two, just a comparison. Uh, we got suction. Battery going low. Uh, Crazy man. Need some juice. Suction. Uh, suction pressure. Head pressure. And if we go to and, and we can see uh, super heat. 12. Suction line. And then if we go to circuit number one, uh, we can see suction and head pressure difference. And you know again super heat. Double. And the uh, EEV. 100%, the EV is 100%, the same on the other circuit, maybe it's just 99%, but you know. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze in, I'm going to squeeze in a couple of pounds, alright, see if I get any difference, real quick, figure out just do a quick video on this, while I'm doing it. So I'm going to go in circuit number one. My laptop battery is about to die. Uh, so look at the suction pressure is going to come up. So we got one pound. Okay, so I'm going to, that's two pounds. And I'm going to stop. Two pounds. Okay, that's it. That's dropping because, you know, obviously the, the gas is passing through, a liquid it's passing through. Let's see what the number, actual number looks like. Uh, super heat is down, but that sensor is right there as well. Suction line temperature sensor, so it's, let it, we'll let it circulate for a little bit and stabilize. And then we'll see what we're going to get. So that was 23 and circuit number two, 132 on the low side and 47 on the high side. All right, you can see that. And low, uh, in circuit number one, uh, still lower than circuit number two, high and low side. So even with that one pound, uh, super heat is coming up. That's a 19, going back up. Two levels out. The total charge on this thing. Total charge on this thing. Let's see how many pounds it takes. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Oh, 45. That's 45 pounds per circuit. So this is the chiller. If you're wondering what it looks like, I think we may have a, a leak, a small leak or something along those lines because the pressures indicate that. So the alarm is the alarm is merited. Unless I got a faulty suction and discharge pressure transducer, which I doubt that. The possibility of that is as unlikely. So I think uh, we got a slight leak on this thing. All right, let's see where we're at. So we're at 19 degrees superheat with two pounds added. And my suction line is 59. So I'm going to monitor this thing for a little bit. And then I might just add an another pound. And then see how it pans out. All right. Yo, like this video.
Like, you know, if, if, it, if you think this video is dope, like it. Damn, my hands are hashy. Where's my gloves? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. But I'm gonna keep doing this until my laptop battery goes out. Or maybe I should just close the screen and then like minimize the screen and put it to sleep so we can save energy. All right, well, I'm gonna drop this video for preferred members. Okay. Preferred members is getting this video. All right, so I'm gonna squeeze in another pound in there. Open that. One more pound. Add into the beast. Eight percent of battery remaining. I mean, super heat is at super heat is at super heat is fifteen right now, but we already know because we're passing the, the liquid over the sensor. That's why we have those numbers so low. Surprisingly, my head pressure is not rising significantly. With three pounds added. But my back pressure is coming up though. Um, I think we're improving. I think I'm in the right direction. This thing has a small lead, has to be. Comment what you think, Dad. Well, comment what you think. In the comment section if you have this this problem before all right comment comment your diagnostics what do you think based on what you're seeing that's circuit number circuit number one so suction pressure is definitely coming up um, Let's see uh, circuit number two in comparison for my computer dies. That's number two, we got 130 and 405. 56 suction pipe and um, super heat is at 11. Approach 6.4 and my EXB is at 96%. Circuit number one. So we have 119, 350, uh, super heat is at 18, my valve is at 100 percent EXV. Yeah, comment if you think that we got a refrigerant problem, right? Refrigerant. I'm gonna close this off. I think I'm in I'm on the right track. This system may have a small leak. I'm gonna have to search, search it around with my electronic leak detector. See what I could come up with. All right, so let me show you the uh, diagnostic again. Before I close this off, here's the diagnostic right here. Boom. Comes up several times. 